Hi, I'm Adam Steele for Hot Pole Studios, and if you've been watching the series so far, you will have seen us comparing high gain VST amp models with each other, and you'll also have seen us then move on to comparing those with high gain real amps and comparing those against each other as well. Um, we tried to make sure that everything was equal with these, the gains were set the same, you know, the, the EQs were set the same, even going so far as to make sure the valves were all the same temperature, that is to say they'd been on for at least half an hour so that they were definitely far too hot to touch and were in their proper operating range. But that got me thinking, what would happen if we reamped the same amplifier with everything being nice and hot, but also with everything just cold. So that's what we're doing today. So for today's video, we're using a two notes Le Lead preamp. Uh, using a reamp box from Radial and that's feeding straight into the effect return on a PV6505 plus amp. This is the 50 watt version of that amp. It's got 6L6 tubes and we were running it fairly loud. I think the output volume on that was at 7 out of 10 which is way louder than you would reasonably use an amp like that on a stage. Uh, but then that means that the output tubes are going to be working pretty hard, they're going to be imparting their character. So after I'd got all this wired up, thinking about keeping the tubes warm on each particular pass, and then I thought, why don't we try this with the tubes cold? Uh, don't try this at home, it may damage your amp, but I was doing this, you know, in the name of science. So I got the setup ready, wired in, and then pretty much hovered my hand over the on and the standby on the amp, turned it straight on, uh, played a little bit through it until there was sufficient level coming through, and then hit go. So what you're about to hear is firstly the completely cold tubes like that, and then I left the whole thing on with the audio on loop for an hour to make sure it really got properly hot to make absolutely sure that it was running at a proper temperature. And then the second piece of audio you'll hear is that same setup, but with the temperature of those valves uh, much higher up to the point where I couldn't touch those power valves. They were too hot to touch. So without further ado, here's the raw guitar parts. but I can actually hear something there. I think if I was to run the power of the output at say two out of 10, I, I don't know if I'd be able to hear anything, but I'm fairly sure now having heard that subtle difference that when you run valves to the point where their character is imparting something, they're, you know, that's when things like temperature can make some kind of difference. Here's everything in a mix. Wait!
I thought it was a little bit harder to hear the differences in a mix, which is interesting in and of itself in some way, I guess. And also here it is with the guitar volume backed right off to almost off, still on the high gain channel, but with so much less output that it's not putting nearly as much strain on the valves. Let's see if we can hear a difference here. And last but not least, let's hear the bit that we've been doing in each of the videos where it's a couple of heavy chuggy bits, then a gap of silence, then a heavy chug. And those real low end bits are where I would expect to hear some differences, if anything. <laughs> Did you hear a difference? Let me know in the comments. Um, if it's worth doing, I might revisit doing this type of video with different amps. In the studio, I've currently got a Marshall TSL 100, uh, the PV Windsor 100 watt EL34 amp. I've got a Mesa 5050. Uh, I've got a few different amps now and I should be able to get hold of a few more if anyone's got any suggestions of whether they think this would be more or less in different amps. And just to address people saying about, oh, well, the high gain's no use to me. Um, I'm planning on revisiting some of these videos in the future with a an angle of lower gain. It just so happened that I already had a, a high gain song to hand when I was doing all this reamping. So that's what we've gone with first. So there may be more cleaner stuff and of course that we would use cleaner amps as well because these amp models and these real amps are all set or at least aimed at high gain sounds so yeah if we revisit a cleaner thing i would also look at cleaner amps because like say a pv 6505 or 5150 was never designed for clean sounds it will never be clean so yeah, that's not really gonna happen. Anywho, uh, that's all for this particular video. Um, if there are any more in this series, I will let you know as they are getting released because, of course, ideas come all the time. We've got loads of review videos, stuff about subwoofers, stuff about different microphones, stuff about different interfaces. It's worth mentioning today I was using an Audience ID44 for the voiceover and I was using the ID44 in the background of the reamps and the, all the reamp through the torpedo captor uh, by two notes was going into that ID44 which is where we've had the pristine quality audio. So thanks to Audient for sending that over. If the review's not already out, that'll be out very soon. Thank you to everybody who supported us through Patreon as well because that helps us to fund doing videos like this. There's so much more that we want to do and you guys help us to do that. And in return, we try and give you early access to the videos. Uh, we give you our contact to try and you know, talk about your technical questions and help you with mixes personally if you're at that kind of reward tier. And there's there's so much that you help us with that means that we don't have to go out and find you know too many cheesy adverts. Uh, and we're trying to get into doing more and more of this kind of thing rather than being in the studio with one client at a time. We want to teach people. So if you guys can help us do that, Patreon is the way to do it. So thank you everybody, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.
Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos, as you can find here, or check out our Facebook and Twitter, or our Patreon page, which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.